I seen that. No, I don't wanna see that. The darkest TikTok iceberg. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about that. the I darkest TikTok iceberg. Now this is a sequel to my darkest YouTube iceberg, but this video is a lot more gruesome. Reason being, the because in the YouTube iceberg, we talked about just creepy videos on the website. Now for this TikTok iceberg, we're going to talk about real world events. In case you guys don't know how an iceberg works, which you should by now, honestly, <laughs> it's a list that starts at the tip and ends up going all the way down to the dark abyss. Oh. As we go down, we begin covering topics that not the general video. audience knows about, but we're actually switching it up for this video. We're not doing it from most known to least known. We're doing it from most tame to most gruesome. This video okay. gets really, really, really dark and it sounds so ironic because it's TikTok, but you guys would be surprised with the stuff that goes on over there. Also, I made this list here. All right, so the top botting accounts. So I'm gonna go from jail talk, school shooters all the way to, whoa, CP, the fuck? Now I ain't gonna lie, I've seen freaking on TikTok, they would have edits of freaking, I remember that Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer joint, the, the, I think it was the movie that came out, they had freaking edits of weird. Fetishizing of, of murders? Y'all be fetishizing murders? Of course you have your uncultured squad. Man, we, we know, we, we know one is still no more. Here is the list. If anyone else wants to make Cutis a video on weird. it, just make Who sure to chat watch me and you can add on, remove, I don't care, but. I made this list because this didn't really exist before. The I hope you guys yeah, the watched SDA the whole thing. By the way, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the channel if you SDA. are not already. Actually, don't subscribe yet. I'll earn your subscription by the end of this video. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's head on to the iceberg. The okay. tip of the iceberg, botting sleeping. accounts. Like most social media, TikTok has a botting problem. Users that want followers can easily look up how to buy TikTok followers on Google and be met instantly with millions of results. Most being shady websites with, let's just say, some non-ideal I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, if I don't hit 100k by December, I'm just, I'm just gonna buy bots, bro. I might as well. Y'all won't y'all won't be able to tell anyway. And it's only twenty dollars. I'll just buy bots if I don't hit it by December. Is not only can you buy followers, but you can buy views, likes, and even comments. I don't know how lame you have to be to do that stuff. Jail time. Like, like I mean, like you could if you if you hitting a certain type milestone and you right at the edge, I don't see nothing wrong with buying uh, bots. Now, if you at zero subs, zero followers, and you trying to buy like thousands and thousands, that's crazy. But if you at like, I don't know, 900 and like 85,000, go ahead and buy 15K followers, man. They ain't gonna be able to tell. You'll do anything to not work hard. You're saying, and you continue to motivate me, and I appreciate that, and I need to do better, because that's not a, a, a good way of thinking, you're saying. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you're saying. Thank you. Jail talk is a term used for inmates which have their cellular devices with them and make TikToks. These videos are for the most part innocent and wholesome with the comment section usually joking about how like they can TikTok. escape. They're not hurting anybody, but there is a reason why they are in jail in the first place, which is why they are on this list at the tip of the iceberg. I like, I like TikTok. of murderers. Like TikTok, TikTok is a place for anyone with any interest. It's no doubt some people are interested in murderers. I mean, my whole channel is dedicated to morbid topics, but some people, mainly young teens, push the boundary a little when they begin romanticizing these murderers. Take Cameron Heron, for example. Yeah, in I April of this too. year, this 21-year-old man was sentenced to a total of 24 years in prison for killing a 24-year-old mom and her baby during an illegal street race. Yet people on TikTok were begging for his freedom because he is quote-unquote cute. With now, I ain't know that. I ain't know that. I, I seen, like, it was uh, like a year or two ago, I seen the edits, but I didn't know what he did. That's crazy. He killed a, a, a mom and a kid, but just because he looked good, that's crazy. Just like the Jeremy Meeks joint had the freaking, uh, had the mug shot, and now he with a bad million or billionaire. That's freaking wild. So if you cute, you get a pass, basically. That's the girls was horny. They need to get put down for real. They need to get put down. Why he did it? I have no idea. I have no idea. That's that's weird. Dedicated though. fan edits comments like chances should be given and he deserves it. And he's that's innocent. Crazy. Please let him go or justice for him. I think it's safe to say that the teenage girls that are writing these that comments have no real sense of murder and have no idea. Like he killed a whole woman and a child. If I were to go out and, and just start booming a, a, a kid and, and the mom, ain't no free Quay Max. I'm doing life. I might even get the death penalty. 
Yeah. You look fire. How this affects Thank the you, family. Bro. Hey, Emily, just because you sat through the entirety of true crime on Netflix doesn't mean you have a special connection with murderers. <laughs> It's not only male murderers that are uh, sent for, JBW. though. There's also the case of Isabella Guzman, who in 2013 was the age 18 and stabbed her mother 151 times, killing her. TikTok teens God. began requesting for her freedom because, one, they just thought she was cool, and two, people said that the only reason she killed her- I ain't gonna lie, she look Asian. Keep her. Keep her. Her mom was due to being abused, though Keep that was never proven, so people were just going off word of Keep mouth. Her. Fetishization of school shooters. Keeper. Just like young teens simp for murderers, they also simp for school shooters. Most notably, Devin Erickson, which we actually talked about on this channel back in March. Anyway. Like, bro. Like, bro. Most notably, Devin. Like, come on, bro. So you simping on this? Like, JBW is crazy. Being white, that gotta be a, a freaking superpower, bro. If, if, if there's any type of superpower, unofficial superpower, it's being... A, a decent looking white guy because this is freaking crazy make it i i ain't i ain't hear about this guy but making the edit and, and, and sipping over this is is wow and erickson which we actually talked about on this channel back a in march anyway, that's, that's exactly what i'm saying what fan edits comments saying he's hot and i wouldn't doubt some asking for his freedom speaking of romanticizing like school shooters i remember ftp made a couple shirts referencing the columbine school shooters eric and dylan and in one shirt there's a print of both of them after they committed I don't know who started this trend of thinking school shooters are people you should idolize because they're not. They're shit I'll humans that take away lives of innocent people. And rare usernames. Rare usernames are exactly that. You usernames that are three to four letters out. each or usernames that are a single word or a name. Word. Twitter and Instagram also have these communities which sell and buy rare usernames. These purchases take place outside of the app on forums and sell for upwards of $4,500. Usually these purchases are made using cryptocurrency, but at the end of the day, it is up for the people within the deal to decide. That's Fake weird. TikTok login sites. This is a scam that aims to steal your account by collecting your username and password. Scammers do this by sending you a fake login site that looks just like the real TikTok website, except the only difference is the URL. The URL should be TikTok.com, but instead is something like TikTok login. Like, bro, if you see this, the TikTok login dot site, you know that's fake. You deserve to get your, your joint snatched. You deserve it. It's obviously TikTok.com. That joint is some extra TikTok login dot site. Like, come on, bro. You might, you deserve, you asked to get it snatched. That site. Once yes, putting your snatched. information in, you'll be met with a fake 404 error screen. Cooked. The surface. Faking disabilities. There was a Didn't all of your accounts get taken at one point? Include your bank account. But that's that that's not because I I, I put in, you know, I put it in a fake site. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but I did get it back though. I get it back. I got it back though. I got it back. Says the guy who got his accounts had. All that matters is I got it back, man. I, I ain't never put my, my information into a fake site, though. That's the difference. Some of y'all in the chat did that. Some of y'all in the chat that. Why did that happen? Oh, my God. It's pretty... All right. So, apparently, there was a, 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 a freaking a, a, a breach of information, a breach of passwords and stuff, and it was floating in the freaking in the dark web. And somebody got a hold of that, that information. It was like a year or two ago. And so then he started dropping in the chat, and then I had to change up all my stuff. So it, it, it's not my fault. It was a, a, an info breach. It wasn't my fault. But it's all good. We got physical. We got physical. We got physical. An instance last week where this girl on TikTok did some detective work yeah, and found out that the account at account adopted deleted. and disabled child was actually a guy pretending to be disabled. For what? I'm assuming for clout and that's, then collecting uh, donations afterwards. All credit to her because she actually found out that the quote unquote disabled man in the video is a soccer player for a Norwegian football team. I don't know what goes on through your head to say, you know what? I should fake a disability today and post it on TikTok. Eventually, your friends and family will find out. And if not, then a random girl on TikTok will. Would y'all do that? Like, if y'all if y'all so down bad for some clout and some attention, would y'all fake having a, a disorder? I know there was some type of controversy. Somebody had fake having... um. What's it called? Uh, what sweet Anita? What she got? Tourette's. Somebody had fake Tourette's. I remember that like a year or two ago. That's like, if you can't just get it off the strength, bro, you just not built for it, man. You just not built like me and your scene, man. Because me and your scene, we, we, we going to get ours by any means <clears throat> the, the right way, of course. But faking the disability is crazy. It's not even worth it because once you get caught, the, the blowback, you're not even going to be able to come back from that. Neon fake cancer and death twice in the work for him. Neon need to get exterminated <clears throat> in Red Dead Redemption. 
Because the fact, no, I think it was three times actually. He faked his fake death like two, three times. He should he should have been gone. I don't know how he he freaking weasel his way into it. I don't know. But most times, nah, it's, it don't be working. Man, fuck me on facts. Facts. Lopez brothers. Okay, I honestly don't want to waste my breath on these fucking idiots. So I'm going to make this one really quick. Yes, they are both guilty of soliciting minors. Yes, there is proof. She's 14. And you are how old? 23. Yeah. You know what can happen to you? I do. What the f You can end up in jail. I do realize that. And yes, for some reason, little girls still love them. What the heck? Like, when you look good, you can really get a pass, bro. That's so crazy. When you look good and white, you can really get a freaking pass. All that, and they still type in, please leave him alone. Move forward and focus on your own life. He is a predator. He's a predator. Talking about move forward? Now, he need to move forward into a jail cell. What the fuck? Read Prince's last comment? Man, frick Prince. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. Princess is crazy. Princess is crazy. Hold on, retype that, retype that. Respectfully. Show me your toes for an autograph. Nah, he, he doing something more devious than that. Jerobe. Jerobe was a TikToker with 4 million followers. His content consisted of being politically correct and... Yeah, that was it. His TikToks would get millions of views, and I'm sure you've seen them on your For You page at some point. Well, last I month, haven't. multiple minors came out explaining that Jerobe had groomed them. One of them, the one that got the most views, was a boy by the name of DYLG16. This person goes on to explain that Jerobe is a disgusting hypocrite and abuses his clout to groom and prey upon underage boys. He goes on to say that Joe asked for his Snapchat during a live stream, and that led to Joe being invited to Zoom calls with his friends. Joe oh, would send no. him and his minor friends online BDSM tests and would ask to see their scores so he could see what their kinks were he then personally invited the 16 year old minor to stay you've been docs good good deal with it it was about not sure it mattered me if he birthday what the fuck it's always the ones that that be uh it's always the ones that be act like they're they're so pc and so positive meanwhile behind the scene they be doing some weird crazy stuff talking about some sending a bdsm bdsm test and see the results see what type of kink you and that's weird that's weird there's something that happened to my to my friend by this nigga, that is, that is disgusting. Do he still make TikToks? They got him up out of here? What the hell? He groomed me a couple years ago. I don't know if you're joking or not. Stay with him at a one bedroom Airbnb. He even offered to buy him alcohol. And if that wasn't damning enough, Jerobe ended up deleting his account shortly after these allegations came out. Bro, if there's one thing I don't like, it's fucking nah, he, rumors, bro. He need get to the get fuck out of here. You're facts. weird. You're weird. You're weird. He need to get caught. Cartel TikTok. Cartel TikTok is a series of TikToks that display the lavish lifestyle of the cartel. Or, up, well, the bright side of it, if that's what you want to call it. All of the expensive cars, houses, jewelry, and money. There have Set also up. been some more violent ones of members shooting at rival gangs and the police. Apparently... I'm saying apparently because this, this is word of mouth. Teenagers from the US were really intrigued by the lifestyle and asked if they could join the cartel. Some cartel members would respond and say yeah, and they would force these teenagers to smuggle drugs for them. I'm assuming into Mexico. As of now, TikTok has taken down any hashtags related to the cartel. Bro, if somebody showed y'all, if somebody showed y'all TikToks of like, of those type cartel talks, and they're like, yo, you should join the cartel, would y'all join? I know I'm not. After everything I heard, you got to, like I said, smoke the drugs. You might have to execute somebody. You get executed. Absolutely. It's not even worth it. It's not worth it, bro. It's the, 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 the freaking, the punishment is not worth it. That's like joining a, a, a game, being a blood or a crip. It's not worth it. Because with my luck, I'm going to join a gang. I'm going to do some criminal activity, and I'm going to jail off my first lick. Off the first, off the first drive by, I'm locked up. Hell, hell no, hell no. Hey, bro. Of course I'm joking. I don't get groomed. I do the grooming. Cats. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. All right, good, good, good. At least if you're a blood creep, you can snitch and get away with it. Nah, but you gotta stand on business though. Me, I'm snitching. 
I'm Zombie Woman. Zombie Woman is the nickname given to a woman in distress recorded from fake. a neighbor earlier this year in May in Seattle, Washington. It's now, fake. I've tried researching what actually is the story behind this video, but there isn't really a solid story. So, I'm just going to read you guys some popular theories. The first theory is that this woman is a victim of domestic abuse due to dyeing her hair pink and her boyfriend not liking it. Also forgot to mention that in that same theory... The I don't know, the thing about these like, viral videos where so many people like faking stuff for, for clout... Nine times out of ten, I'm going to call it cap. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to call it cap, man, because a nigga will do anything, anything for some attention. We already seen it with the, the Island Boys. They over there posting incest porn on their, on their OnlyFans, tongue kissing each other, sucking each other off. So, so anything that's put online that's viral, I got I to gotta have some type of like, hold on, man, got to be a little suspicious. Absolutely. The boyfriend allegedly ripped her hair out due to not liking the pink. That's the most I could find for that one. The second theory is that this woman is just on some type of heavy drug like bath salts. The third theory is that this woman is a victim of human trafficking and she had escaped her abuser. Someone said that she was yeah, holding they a pseudo to, to cope with her real baby being killed. Again, these are just theories. The body. Indian trend. Yes, you heard that right. I know I'm going to censor a lot for this video. Hope you guys still watch it. <laughs> Before TikTok was banned in India, in the summer of 2020, a popular Indian user by the name of Muhibur Rahman and his friend filmed and uploaded a disturbing video where they duetted a woman's video. I'm assuming the woman's video was made to raise awareness of sexual abuse, but these two men used that as an opportunity to make it seem like they just got done using her. Another popular what Indian influencer uploaded a similar video, but instead lip synced to a song with the lyrics, only I have a right over your body. Eventually, no, we gotta get these street shitters out of here, bro. We gotta get these. We gotta get these. These Indian. These, these Indian niggas up out of here, man. I say we blow up the whole, blow up all of India. Blow up all of India. Gotta be gone. The poop slingers gotta go. Facts. Facts. And we gonna we gonna lead we gonna lead that motherfucking war. Yes, sir. Dropping the atomic. We we shouldn't even dropped it on Japan. We should have dropped it on India. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. The camel riders. Facts. Women of India took to Twitter to report the this new trend, dude. and the chairperson of the National <laughs> Commission for Women in India shower took dog. note of this and managed to get TikTok to ban the trend. W. That's crazy. Holocaust challenge. Yo, I can't even believe some of the stuff I'm saying right now. Like, this is, this is real stuff that happened on TikTok. In August of 2020, a what new the? trend began emerging in US TikTok. In this trend, teenagers would pretend to be Jews that had died during the Holocaust. Why? Why though? Like Diane Saltzman, the director of survival. Like, 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 but, but, but why? But why? Jewish people in the concentration, like, out of everything they could have picked, it's Jewish people. <laughs> that's just the odd. That's just the odd uh, top of the freaking to uh, a challenge to do. Get that Jew person is crazy. Call Kanye. Man, Kanye probably commented under one of these. Man, shout out to my wonderful Jewish people, man. Survivor Affairs at the U.S. Holocaust Museum told Insider, imitating Holocaust experiences dishonors the memory of victims, Dang. is offensive to survivors, and trivializes the history. I don't know how fucking stupid you have to be to do this shit, bro. That was, that's just weird and disrespectful. Fucking weirdo. I like that I could shit on these people and like, there's no backlash because they all do stupid shit. Give me more ideas for uh, Iceberg Part 2 for Down TikToks with so I can the, shit okay, on more on, people. On, Ronnie McNutt oh, video in 2020. Normal TikToks would be Listen, posted man. onto the app. Listen, man, I love everybody. This is a this is a safe space for everybody, and we are this is an inclusive community, man. We love everybody here, man. I don't know what King talking about. We love everybody. Well, that's what people thought. Until the TikTok would then cut love to everybody. a clip of a man shooting himself in the head with a rifle. Well, he actually shoots himself in the face, not well, like we're like oh, right here. I'm sure you guys have probably seen the video. These I TikToks haven't. were disguised as your average dancing videos, memes, K-pop fan cams, and everything else, but were meant to traumatize kids on the app. In case you're wondering is, exactly who started making these videos, there is no lead. But I'm sure we can all assume it was some edgy. Wait, so so for 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 the people that use TikTok, in here, have you ever came across a TikTok that was like somebody died, somebody got great, uh, like some type of something traumatic? I've never seen that. I've heard it, there was CP on there. I've never seen it ever, ever. Thank goodness. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm saying, and I say that to say I don't want to see that in the future. But I've never. Fortunately, I've never seen that. Never. 
I never accident. On Twitter, I stumbled on somebody getting blown up. You know what I'm saying? Head blown off, unfortunately. But I don't know TikTok. Not saying it, it don't happen, but I'm glad it 18 who just wanted to make some kids' days that much worse. The man in the video is Ronnie McNutt, age oh, 33. Lord. A friend of his named John Steen, who was a live viewer of the stream, confirmed that the rumor of Ronnie doing this, quote, because his girlfriend broke up with him, is entirely false. He explains that Ronnie did this due to suffering from PTSD and depression. Uh, that's TikTok crazy. TikTok beheading TikTok. video. In the summer of this year, a video began circulating on TikTok that showed a little girl dancing and then cut to a video of someone getting beheaded. We're assuming it's the Mexican cartel because they are speaking Spanish in the video. The Everyone fuck? assumed this person in the video to be her. Well, spoiler alert, it's not. They're two different people. It's just a random girl and it cuts to a Mexican cartel video. Like the Ronnie McNutt video, this spread like wildfire. I'm sure people would just post the video itself or like cut the clip into I swear I've never TikTok. seen these type and videos. trick people into thinking they're watching a normal TikTok. TikTok and then it cuts to that clip. Anyway, like I was saying, the girl dancing. Like, that's crazy. Like, imagine you just on TikTok or you got a, a little a little brother sister and it just goes into like somebody getting railed by a horse. Like, bro, how does that, how does that even get past TikTok? Because TikTok is super strict. TikTok is one of the strictest social medias, bro. I can't even say the N-word on, 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 on TikTok. I know Quay wanted to get booty bust. Nah, I don't. I don't. And the person in the other video are not the same person. All. That person is a man by the name of Rodolfo Bellucci, which coincidentally has the same body type as the girl. If you're wondering how a tween girl and a grown man were mistaken to be the same person, well, almost all gore videos seem like they're filmed on a fucking Chromebook, so the best you'll get is 360p. Abyss. Cassie Compton. In January of 2021, a video posted on TikTok went viral due to showing a woman sitting in the backseat of a car. She had two black eyes and was slumped over staring at the camera, almost God. silently pleading Dang. for help. People compared this woman to Cassie Compton, a 15-year-old who disappeared from her home in Those Stuttgart, Arkansas on September 14th of 2014. Though, these were later found out to be two completely different people and the woman in the video was confirmed by family to be Haley Grace Phillips. She had been reported missing by a family member who saw the video, but but on her own account had just left home due to a falling out with her father. So, you know, she didn't think she was missing. She just like left home. She went on to host a few Instagram live streams where in the first one, she, she says, did? I don't know who this Cassie bitch is, which already gave her a negative look. Respect. And when asked about the black eyes, she explains that she had been jumped and robbed by two women when leaving the store and the men in the car were. Nah, that, that, it was them niggas in the back, bro. Hey, 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 I don't think, uh, I don't think. At least just off the hands themselves, I don't think a woman doing this, bro. Had to be some niggas, bro. And that black guy was sitting behind him looked mad big. I'm pretty sure he was the one putting them, putting the, his hands on her. Those are some black, black eyes. There was another woman in the back with her? Oh, there was two? I must be blind. I only seen the, uh, the black guy. Why would you do that? I did not do that. That's, that's, that's not me. She's kind of cute, not gonna lie. That black guy's a woman? helping her track down the attackers. Many were still skeptical to. In the first, she didn't think video. The by fifteen who disappeared almost silently pleaded. You saying that's not no in woman. the backseat of a. That's a woman. Car. She had two black eyes. And what? And sitting in the. That's a bit. That is crazy. I thought this was a nigga. Yeah, Tom, you're gay, bro. You're gay. She was telling the truth or if her yeah, abusers yeah. were telling her to say these yeah. things. Yeah, I thought that was have a no man. idea what the actual truth is because she disabled her account and never gave the public any more details. Wait, Austin she allowed? 13. Austin Morosky was a TikToker with many followers who was accused of his five-year-old sister yep you heard that right so basically there is no hard evidence that i could find to this case it's all just word of mouth from people that went to high school with him so the story goes that he allegedly his little sister of five years old when he was nine and then was sent off to a juvenile detention center during high school yes during high school which is already weird as part of the story because to enter juvie there's not something had been going on to his home like why at, why are you as a nine-year-old if this true why are you, as a nine-year-old, thinking about, one, having sex at all, and two, having sex with your, with your five-year-old sister? Something, something been going on in that house.
Not saying that excuse it, but I'm saying something, something evil been going on there. Gotta be. Like, when you now you thinking about toys, playing the game, going outside, not, 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 not taking cheeks, especially your, your five year old sister. Yeah, corn created by who? Yeah, you're saying we both know. Long nosed individuals. <clears throat> The ones that was in those uh, those New York tunnels. Not like an age limit. Respectfully. You could be six and be in juvie. So theoretically, he should have gone to juvie right when he did it, not during high school. Or maybe the story is that the, the information got leaked while he was in high school. But again, yeah, this yeah, is all word people. of mouth. Yeah, that's anyway, what I was talking about. People evil on people. TikTok started rushing to spread awareness about this guy. He eventually ended up releasing an apology. Hey, everybody. My name's Austin Murawski, oh. and the reason I'm making this... Who are these niggas, man? We don't care. We care about you. We don't care about these niggas. Moody, get, the, get, 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 get these niggas out the way, man. Talk is to educate my followers, friends, and family. Regardless of the lack of knowledge this, that's concerning my life and my family, I, as a TikToker and a man, will continue to make my fans... Like... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, he should be dead. He should be dead, first of all. Second of all, if you're making an apology, why do you have to write it down? And why is she over like like why is she overdoing it, bro? You shouldn't even be here in the first place. Why do you have to write down an apology? You should be able just to say it out, out the out, out, out the heart. What the hell? Hell, hell, hell no! What? <laughs> Writing down an apology is crazy. It's happy and entertained. I just want my true supporters to know. That if you happen to get in the same scenario like myself, don't beat yourself up. Let this what? Be <laughs> if if he said if if you get put if, if you're in the same scenarios as me, nah, that's tame. <laughs> Never go there is no safe scenario. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What? That if you happen to get in the same scenario like myself. Yeah. Hey, 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 hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, no. Bro said same. Bro, bro thought we was in the same boat. Absolutely not. If you trip and fall on your five year sister, don't beat yourself up. That's that's crazy. Don't beat yourself up. Let this be a lesson to my followers and whoever's watching that words will and can affect someone's life along with the cyberbullying. Which, by the way, is one of the worst apology videos I've seen. It's yes. right up there with James Charles and David Dobrik. You'd expect them to be like, no, I did not my sister, or yes, guys, I did it. But he just dodges the question. He, he acknowledges nothing. He tells his supporters that words can affect you and to keep your head up during hard times. He victimizes himself. I'm assuming this is why people think- And I'm assuming from like looking at him, I'm assuming he has a real young, young audience. So, you know, the attention, and plus it's on TikTok, so the attention span is already bad. So, out of that with TikTok, it's super, super small. So, he figured all he had to do is just be like, hey, you know, if somebody's if somebody bullying you guys, uh, 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 make sure to tell somebody, woo, 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 just some basic surface level, and then just go back and make it real. Nah, bro, you got to get locked up, buddy. Even if he was nine, got to go. He got to go. Bro thought he was going to drop that and just go back, be perfectly fine. Nah. Nah. I think he's 100% guilty. Though we'll never really know because those juvenile records aren't available to the public since they're minors. Lady Cat Killer. In 2020, there was a person that would go on Omega with this. the tag furry from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. and would show off skinned and burned cats, cat skulls, and other things of that nature. Even though this, this though. happened on Omegle, the quote unquote lady would post on TikTok, which is why it's on this iceberg. If you were on TikTok at the time, you might remember this the amount of crazy. people that were talking about this. Shout out to the Netflix documentary, Don't Fuck With Cats. I love that. I love that film. That was cool. It was never proven or not as to if she was the person on TikTok, considering Feel many like accounts were man. made due to getting banned. But whoever was on the account seemed to be trying to pull off the you'll never catch me scheme, which no, it was 2020. Yeah, your ass is going to get caught. Way. And actually law enforcement did That's... get involved. And it is most likely that like, like what, what, what goes through your mind and possesses you to do something like that? That's crazy. Grape, uh, murder, CP like, bro, like you can't, you can't be human. You do one of those two, you can't be human. Like that's such an extreme action. Like, it's like regular stuff, okay, like, somewhat serious stuff, but then, like, extreme, like, next level, like, evil, that's, that's some, that's some demonic stuff right there, bro. That's freaking, that's a sick nigga. My friend saw this lady on Omegle, 
Man, I'm glad I ain't never seen that, that BS. I'm glad. I'm glad. Most of the like gore stuff I, I have I have not seen. This person was tracked down and charged, though we'll never have any confirmation because we don't know the gotta killer's be name, which means we can't look it up on public records. Bethany Martin. One of the most recent situations from this? this entire iceberg is the case of Bethany Martin and her minor friend. On July 28th in San Antonio, Texas, this girl and her friend saw someone hanging from the railing of a drainage ditch. The 25 year old man had it just committed suicide, and instead of calling the police, well, one of the teens filmed the other one stealing his necklace. Yes, removing it from his lifeless body. To make matters even worse, they filmed it and posted it on Snapchat. I have no idea how stupid you have to be to film yourself committing a crime. I mean, because if you think about it, they could have gotten away with it. And I'm not condoning them getting away with it. But seriously, how stupid, like, just not, don't film it? Again, I am not condoning what they did. Good that they got caught. I'm glad they were idiots and filmed it. But like, bro, it's, y'all are stupid. When asked by the police why she stole the necklace, she says that it matched her fashion style. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't expect any better reasoning from this girl. The police returned the jewelry to the family. Bethany was arrested and charged with theft of a corpse. Her bond was set to $2,000 and she... That's like me finding a dead person with a watch on. I take his watch. They 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 get me in. That's why I do it. Man, I thought it just looked good with my fit. Tight shit, tight shit. I but hey, you gotta be you gotta be honest. Yo, yawner, yawner. You be honest though. I had it on though. I put that thing on though, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, what? She has since been released from jail. I didn't know jail. you could steal from a dead person. Apparently there's a charge from it. You said that like you done that before, you're saying? Minor was also charged with the same thing. The Dark Abyss. Zachary Lathan. Often dubbed the TikToker who killed his neighbor for clout, Zachary Lathan did just that. Though whether he did it for I clout or not that. is unknown. Here is a rundown of the story. Zachary had been having problems with his neighbors due to driving recklessly in the neighborhood. At one point, he films a woman that's part of the family and calls her a Karen repeatedly. He then allegedly swerved his car into their son's uh, bike while he's biking. Eventually, the family's son and father confront Zach by going to his house, and meanwhile, Zach's wife is recording everything. Yeah, okay. the dude had a wife at the age of 18. What the f anyway, Zach ends up going ape mode and stabs William in the armpit, puncturing his lung, killing him. People say this was an attempt to hey. gain TikTok clout since the wife was recording, but I personally think it's just a man with mental and anger issues not knowing limits. Also, the argument they that he did it for clout is odd considering the dude he killed came up on his property first. You would think that this he would is at go the to deep the neighbor's of the house, kill him over there. But no, the people came up to his side, and I'm not defending it again. It's, that kid's a fucking I mean, idiot. this is bad, but this ain't... This ain't this ain't worse than freaking beheading and more freaking the Indian great challenges. The frick? They could have they could have up this, they could have put this level up. The frick? They should have put the other ones, some of the other ones down. Yeah, but yeah, rest I mean, in it's peace still bad, but like, to that man. Rest in peace. Joseph Jimenez. Crazy, crazy. Another recent event from this list is this Joseph Jimenez movie theater shooting. This happened last month in California. Anthony Barajas, a 19 year old TikToker with about a million followers, and his friend Riley Goodrich went out to watch The Forever Purge, where they were shot and killed by a 20 year old man by the name of Joseph Dumbass Jimenez. A reporter actually conducted an interview with this person, so I'll give you guys some takeaways from that. The movie theater was mostly empty. There were only a total of six people, three of those being Riley, Jimenez, and Anthony. The other three were Jimenez's friends. Halfway during the movie, Jimenez went to go get something from his car, and he told his friends that he came back with a gun. In the article, it says that um, his friends left to the parking lot. I guess they were just like weird. They were just fucking scared. They went to the parking lot. Then they see Jimenez running to his car, getting in, and speeding off. The bodies of the two teens weren't found up until the cleaning crew came up, which is- I, I would be tight if I'm watching a movie, 4D, and I get clapped at the movie theaters, bro. I'm gonna be mad pissed, bro. Mad. I'm hanging with the homies. Like, like imagine you getting clapped in front of your, 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 your girl or your guy. At that point, whoever killed me, I got to come back and haunt you. Execution style. Gosh, too. That's why you need to keep that thing on you. Of course. I, I, got, I got some people that, got, uh, that can give me some weapons for the low. Because guns kind of expensive. So I got somebody I can get for a little... A little Maybe a couple hundred. Couple. Like no one heard a gunshot, like two gunshots in the in the movie theater. Anyway, both of the teens were killed execution style. So Jimenez went behind their seats, Crazy. aimed his gun at the back of Anthony's head, 
and shot and killed him. When he killed Anthony, Riley reacted horrified, and then he shot her in the head as well. Riley died at the scene, and Anthony was on life support for a couple of days until eventually dying. When explaining why he did it, he says that voices were telling him that by killing both of those two teenagers, he would be saving the world. Claire Miller. Claire Miller is a- Bro thought he was a superhero. That ass. Nah, that crazy name is... That's a crazy cut. 14 year old girl that murdered her disabled sister Helen that had cerebral palsy a disorder that affects a person's posture muscles and balance we actually covered this topic on the channel the when it when it happened back in February and I also remember that this what she was do? An interesting case because there wasn't really like a, a reason you know there wasn't really a reason so I'm gonna let my past self explain to you guys that at one in the morning the police got a phone call from Claire herself saying that she had just murdered her older sister her older sister it was 19 what? years old and she was wheelchair bound so she had a like respectfully there there, there 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 wasn't nothing she could she could really like there's no reason to i mean mur obviously murder bad murder's bad murder bad murder bad killing's bad but you killing your your, your sister cerebral palsy that's 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 just a different level of like you need five life sentences off that bro you killing a uh one you killing two you killing your sister and three you killing a, a defense a, a defenseless Person with cerebral palsy? Nah, we gotta, we gotta like slowly kill you, slowly torture, very slow. That's so dirty. Disability, but it doesn't really say dog? what disability she had. So it says here that I did not Claire that. hysterically called 911 and just admitted to murdering her sister. And when the police arrived, they noticed that she had tried washing the blood that was on her hands in the snow on the ground. So I guess there was just bloody snow everywhere. And they had found a knife inside of the older sister's neck. The name of the older sister was Helen Miller. I don't wanna just like not mention her name. And since this happened in one in the morning, it says here that the parents were asleep. I don't know how you could sleep through a murder. You know, we, we don't know that many details and I honestly don't really wanna cover an update. Killed her sister in, in, in the bed, snoring. They are charging her for murder as an adult. She's not being charged as a minor. She's being charged as a full adult. So she's going to get these consequences, bro. She's probably going to get like life in prison or 100 plus years type type stuff. It, it's yeah. obviously Skip that this Claire girl has a mental disability. Skip like, the trial. No one just murders out of nowhere. Even in her mugshot, like she looks like she's not fully there okay cool let's head on to the next yeah topic. man skip the trial just nicola straight, priest this straight is by jail. far one of the worst things i'm gonna talk about on the channel so this woman from the uk named nicola priest would post tiktoks mourning her dead daughter her daughter seemed to be like about two and i'm sure when people saw this on their for you page they would like you know leave loving comments like oh no you're you're strong you're gonna be strong come to find out this woman actually murdered her own kid and then went on TikTok post mourning her own daughter. People found this out because you can actually search her up on public records and it says there that she murdered her kid. She only got 15 years in prison, which is so fucking weird. Why? What? 15? First of all, she not she not in jail. So she killed she she she, she killed her, her her own flesh and blood blood. There's papers on it and she only got 15? That's crazy. Like, what the? F this is on some Casey Anthony type joint, cause I, cause she, she killed her. What you like? What she had? Two or three kids she had killed, and she got off free. That don't even make sense. Like, was the jerk? Was they blind or something? Was everybody in the court blind? Helen Keller. So yeah, when, when that information came out, it flipped the story on its head. Now people see this woman as a demon because that's what she is. And if you go back and watch some of the videos, her account is still up, by the way. If you go back and watch some of the videos, it's so fucking creepy seeing, like just knowing what happened. And she and just posted that she's acting like she didn't R. kill her, her own daughter. Her, her baby. Nah, no, that's weird. Bro, that's, that's, that's. That's so like that's evil, bro. That's that's some that's some demonic stuff right there. That's like you you posting your daughter up like she's still alive. Like like you weren't the one that killed her. You posting stuff like rest in peace, my darling mommy. Like bro, and then I seen the uh, the last clip. She pregnant. She gonna kill the other one too. Now we gotta find her, bro. Now we gotta beat her in the street.
For real. For real. We got we gotta be here in the street. Torture. Torture. Just like they did in medieval times, we gotta hit her with the same one. Every single device for 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 torture in, in medieval times, we gotta use it on her. G. G. Oh, this is a Brit. Yeah, we gotta blow up the whole UK. The UK let something like this slot? Bomb it. Bomb it, bro. I felt I feel like I had died. Bro, this 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 is freaking crazy. This might be the craziest one. What the fuck? Like how how do you go to sleep at night doing this? And then you posting it too like 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 you ain't the one that did this. No, that's weird. That's sad. CP. I'm not gonna explain what CP is, but CP is available on TikTok. Whether it be creeps paying little girls to message them or little girls going out of their way to show off their queefing skills, I'm not lying. I can't fucking believe I'm serious. There are so many grown, disgusting ass men that are on TikTok just looking for ch children. So the most I could say for this is just protect your children. All right, yeah, that was that was a uh, that was the iceberg. You guys, let me know Ew. if you guys want a part. No, this is a banger. I ain't gonna lie, this is a banger. The darkest TikTok iceberg. This is a W. This is a W.